Hi, I'm Greta Van Reel, and I'm going to show you some of the ways that you can increase your Shopify store's conversion rate by showing you one of the top performing e-commerce brands, Kettle and Fire. So let's get into it. So I'm tapping through. First thing that I notice is the homepage loads very, very quickly. This is one of the top defining factors for e-commerce stores. When it comes to their conversion rate optimization, it's site load time. People have very little or low patience for a slow loading website these days. If you don't get their attention instantly, it just reduces conversion rate very, very quickly. So the first thing that I notice here is a really great clear UVP, self-care, but make it sippable. Comforting support you can feel, boost your body's natural defenses the only way bone broth can. So this fills you in on exactly what the product is, why it's beneficial to the user. And I love the positioning actually of this shop now button. I think often in e-com stores, you find this shop now button down here, but my mouse is naturally already gravitating to this exact point on the screen. And they've probably done some heat map testing that shows exactly where the majority of users would end up with their mouse on the screen. And they've optimized that shop now button exactly to there. So I absolutely love that. Yeah, love this clear content that shows somebody using the product, really engaging. We've got some social proof from top publications here. This increased trust instantly. We've got Women's Health, we've got Forbes, and we've got Healthline. So Forbes shows they're a really strong, you know, from a business perspective, Healthline and Women's Health are both, you know, really great authorities in the health space. So love that. Okay. I love that when you scroll down, there's kind of like this interactive loading. I can't remember what our dev calls this. It's like Ajax or something like that in a technical term. But yeah, love all of the like light, fresh images that really highlight the ingredient focus and how natural the bone broth is as a whole. And then we've got the benefits clearly displayed. We definitely want to lead with our benefits, you know, sell benefits, not features. So, you know, rather than saying, our bone broth includes XYZ ingredient. It's more like XYZ ingredient does this for your body. So like protects your joints, reduces inflammation, boosts anti-aging. Made by world renowned chefs. So it tastes too good to be healthy. That is amazing as well. Actually, I think this is such a great one. I'd almost put that right at the top. To me, made by world renowned chefs so that you know it's not just healthy, but also tasty is a huge benefit and probably even more than like self-care made sippable type of thing. Like those words and terms like are a bit more kind of like subjective or wishy-washy, I guess. Um, I would prefer kind of like much harder kind of direct response related terms to hit people with that UVB at the top. So there's a little improvement. Then we come down to the products that we've got our best seller bundle right at the front. I reckon this is a great one for any multi-SKU e-commerce store. Best seller bundle just makes it really obvious. People always ask us, which product should I buy? What are the top shopped products? You know, what should I, you know, get because they want to get what other people are getting inherently by nature. So a best seller bundle is a really great way to kind of show them exactly where you'd be starting off if you were just a first time shopper of their site. So love the concept of the best seller bundle. And then we've got like the individual bone broths coming up in some different sort of niches targeted like a keto one, and then just, you know, kind of different tastes and variants. I like also that when you scroll onto the product, it shows like a lifestyle image right behind. So why don't we click through to maybe the chicken bone broth? Cause I want to see how they might try to kind of like upsell me to a different bundle. So I'm going to pick just one. Okay. Look at this product page. It is stunning. There's a reason why this site does very well. And look at this 6,923 reviews. That is some insane social proof. We're leading with that right up the top and their five-star reviews. That is a lot of five-star reviews. So I instantly, you know, trust and love this product. I love this product page, how they've put the widget on top of this sort of like lifestyle and ingredient based imagery. But let's have a look at the widget first and see kind of like what they're trying to get us to do. So 
There's buying options and quantity options. So all of these things are leading toward increasing customer lifetime value or increasing your average order value of the site. Lifetime value in terms of subscription, which is maybe a lower order value, but a higher lifetime value or average order value in terms of buying multi-packs. So there's one pack that's $7.99 per carton. Why in the world? Okay, this is the this is the weirdest or like I thought this brand would do better than this, but uh, like a six pack is still $7.99 per carton and a 12 pack is $7.76 per carton. Like just if you must, incre if you don't have the margins there, increase a one pack to $9.99, have a six pack at like, you know, $7.99. You need sizable savings as you move up through those quantity breaks because why would people just instantly want to buy a six pack if there isn't some sort of associated price savings? So that's one little tip. <laughs> that was a little harsh. So we could add to cart. Let me try adding a six pack to cart. So we have a $47.94 product, right? Them too. But I love this why you'll love it with like cute little emojis here. Way more trust symbols here as well. So we've got all of the kind of more like food related trust symbols and like collagen rich, dairy free, keto friendly. We've got non GMO verified. That's great. Why customers love our broth. I kind of don't mind that um, it's just text based here. I don't think it's a very visual product. I don't really want to see like their random cups of bone broth either. I feel like it would ruin sort of like the brand consistency on this site. So I would agree here with just having text based. Often I would think of having like more image based reviews, but that's sort of a more aesthetic product. But yeah, how they make it. Okay, benefits with like a bit of a how to. Why should I have it? And more reviews that you can filter based on benefits as well. I love this. This is powered by Yotpo. It's a really, really great review style widget because you can be like, okay, I wanna read about taste. And then you can see all the reviews that relate to taste being like, okay, the flavor was mild and mellow. Use case was sipping for wellness. Like this is really great. Cause you can be like, okay, I want really fast delivery. So I'll read on delivery and see what people have said about the delivery. The customer service is fantastic. Product shipped quickly. Great, cool, ready to buy. So let's go up to the top because we're really looking at the overall user experience of a site. Like the user experience on a site and the fact that it's fast and easy to shop and buy as much as possible is the most important thing. So let's add our six pack to the cart. Wait, you want to look and feel better than you have in years? Okay, we've got a pop-up, upsell pop-up. Save 20%. Okay, they're trying to get you. They're really giving it a go. They're giving it a red hot crack for you to turn your order into a subscription and then you save 20%. So maybe that is why the products weren't that reduced to begin with as well. So there may be method to their madness. Maybe it's even better to get people, you know, locked into that kind of like consistent buying and lifetime value is even more important than average order value. You want people buying kind of more consistently from your brand. Um, and recurring revenue as well from a business perspective is valued higher in terms of one day when your business does go to sell, you'll be valued at a lot higher than a business that doesn't have recurring revenue. Because of course, the new buyer is like, oh, they've got all these subscriptions locked in. So I know that revenue is locked in, even if, you know, I don't do anything else that is coming through the door. So let's see what happens if we turn the order into a subscription. Look at this stunning cart. We have just implemented, we're just about to implement a cart like this for Skinny Me Tea as well, which is like a progressive cart. So to begin with, if you add seven more cartons, you get a personal shopper. I don't even know what that means, sorry guys. But like I get the 20% off, I get the free shipping. Okay, what is a personal shopper? Okay, let's add seven more items. I wanna see what this personal shopper is. You're getting the most rewards. Okay, I don't even know what I get with this personal shopper, but I've clearly added them to my cart. I don't need 15 bone broths though, I feel. Let's go back down. Don't really care about the personal shopper, but I do care about free shipping. So let's add the minimum for free shipping, six. Proceed to checkout. And then we just have the usual Shopify checkout. I would probably have a few more options. I guess they don't have shop pay because they don't want to give the cut for that to Shopify, but shop pay and like express checkouts are really, really important. Sometimes I only check out with shop pay now because I just can't be bothered. So I feel as though you need to have that option. But other than that, I would say nine out of 10 
site. So that's how this top performing e-commerce store is increasing their conversion rate. I'm sure there were a few takeaways, whether it's the best seller bundle or whether it's that progressive add to cart function to increase average order value that you can sort of take away for your brand. So maybe have another watch of this video if you need to and take some notes on exactly where your brand could improve to be closer to this sort of best in case conversion optimized e-com brand. Hey guys, hope you're loving our videos and that you're getting heaps of value from them. If you are, make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe to join the Founder Fam. If you did enjoy this video and want to continue to master your skills, make sure you click here to access your free training now, where we'll go into way more depth with this founder.